August 19, 1942. The beaches of deep France, Canadian soldiers, charge toward the port town sea walls. Machine gun fire cuts them down like wheat before a sight. Churchill's ambitious raid to capture a working port turns into a slaughter within hours. Of the nearly 5,000 men Wu landed, more than 4,800 become casualties. Bodies float in crimson water. Landing craft burn on the beach. The Germans defend their harbor with devastating efficiency. By nightfall, Allied commanders face a brutal truth. They cannot capture a port. German defenses are too strong. The Atlantic Wall, too formidable. Every harbor from Norway to Spain bristles with artillery, concrete bunkers, and veteran troops who've had years to prepare. But without a port, invasion is impossible. The mathematics are merciless. Any Allied landing in France will require 12,000 tons of supplies every single day to sustain. Food, ammunition, fuel, medical supplies, tanks, artillery. The planners run the numbers again and again, desperate to find a different answer. They always reach the same conclusion. You need a deep water port to land that volume of material. You need loading docks, cranes, warehouses, paved roads leading inland. And every port in France is a fortress. What the Allied High Command doesn't know, what no one knows on that dark August day in 1942, is that the solution is already sitting on someone's desk in London. A modest proposal from a Welsh civil engineer named Hugh Iris Hughes. A man with no military experience, a yachtsman war. Builds bridges for a living. His idea is insane. Impossible. It violates the very principle of naval architecture and military logistics. Senior Admiral Will.